Our today's topic of discussion is syllabus changes for ACCA qualification exams for 2020 to 2021. So let's get into the topic now guidance for students impacted by June 2020 exam cancellations. If you were planning to sit an exam in June 2020 and it has been cancelled you are now likely to be preparing for an exam under the new 2020-21 syllabus, which applies from September 2020 until June 2021. We recognize you might feel worried about this transition. The good news is that there are not too many syllabus changes overall. The interactive table on the next page sets out where there are changes. As you can see in the table, at strategic professional level there are changes in strategic business reporting, SBR, advanced performance management, APM, advanced audit, and assurance, AAA, only. There are no any changes in strategic business leader, SBL, advanced financial management, AFM, advanced taxation, ATX UK. Let us see what changes are made in strategic business reporting, SBR. Discuss the impact of current issues in corporate reporting. This learning outcome may be tested by requiring the application of one or several existing standards to an accounting issue. It is also likely to require an explanation of the resulting accounting implications, for example, accounting for cryptocurrency in the digital age or accounting for the effects of a natural disaster and the resulting environmental liabilities. The following examples are relevant to the current syllabus, accounting policy changes materiality in the context of financial reporting defined benefit plan amendments, curtailment or settlement management commentary sustainability reporting. What does this mean? For the September 2020 to June 2021 exam year, there have been few changes to the syllabus. As detailed in syllabus section F1, C, you will be expected to discuss the impact of current reporting issues in corporate reporting. This could be tested by asking you to apply one or several existing standards to an accounting issue. You may also be asked to provide an explanation of the resulting accounting implications, for example, accounting for cryptocurrency in the digital age or accounting for the effects of a natural disaster and the resulting environmental liabilities. This was all about strategic business reporting. Now let's get into next subject next is advanced performance management, APM. Let us see what are the changes the syllabus area where changes are made is, performance management information systems and developments in technology. The title of the syllabus has changed to Recording and Processing Systems and Technologies. What does this mean for the September 2020 to June 2021 exam year? There have been some additions to the syllabus. Process Automation and the Internet of Things have been added to syllabus section C3B. You will be expected to understand how these influence the information and systems used by organizations. Artificial Intelligence, AI has been added to syllabus section C3C, where you must demonstrate your understanding of how organizations can utilize AI technology to manage processes, collect information, and add value. The use of presentation tools, such as data visualization within management reports, has been included in syllabus section C5AV. Although you will not be expected to produce visuals using these techniques, you may be required to explain how such tools can be of use when reporting information at different levels of an organization. This is all about advanced performance management. Next is advanced audit and assurance, AAA. Let us see what are the changes for the September 2020 to June 2021 exam year. There are no significant changes to the syllabus. Please note that the wording of learning outcome D2B has been revised to reflect the most up-to-update terminology being adopted by the IOSB. The wording is now as follows, assess and describe how IT can be used to assist the auditor, and recommend the use of automated tools and techniques, such as audit software, test data, and other data analytics tools. The table of amendments on the screen gives details of the other clarifications made within the syllabus. This is all about advanced audit and assurance, AAA. Now, let us move on to the next level which is, applied skills level. As you can see, 
Only performance management subject have changes in the syllabus. There are no any syllabus changes in corporate and business law, LW, comma, taxation, TX UK, comma, financial reporting, FR, comma, audit and assurance, A, comma, financial management, FM. Now, let us see what are the changes made in the performance management, PM. Firstly, the subject area where changes are made is information, technologies and systems for organizational performance. This learning outcome has been expanded and clarified. Explain the uses and benefits of big data and data analytics for planning, costing, decision making and performance management. This is a new learning outcome. Discuss the challenges and risks of implementing and using big data and data analytics in an organization. Secondly, the subject area where changes are made is performance measurement and control. Here, syllabus section heading has been revised to external considerations and the impact on performance. What does this mean? For the September 2020 to June 2021 exam year, you should be able to explain how big data and data analytics can be used in relation to planning, costing, decision making, and performance management. This reflects changes to syllabus section A3D on information systems and data analytics. You will be expected to be able to explain how, for example, gaining detailed insights in customer purchasing habits would help an organization plan targeted marketing or decide which products slash services to promote or how detailed performance data about organizational processes would help to create cost models. A new learning outcome has been added in this area and looks at the challenges and risks around information systems and data analytics, syllabus section A3. This relates to the investment to collect such data, how that data would be managed and translated into information, and the risks holding so much data may bring. This was all about changes in performance management, PM, at applied skill level. Now, as you can see in the table below, there is no any changes in the subject at the applied knowledge level. This is what all, for the day. We hope, the video is useful for you. Kindly, like the video, to let us know, whether, the video is useful for you. Also, share the video, with your friends, to help them in their studies. And, subscribe to our channel, to get, regular update on ACCA qualification in India. Thank you.